My name is Emma Hines and I'm the Senior Manager for Sustainable Construction at Tarmac. As our world is changing to respond to climate and environmental impacts, we all need to evolve our thinking when it comes to concrete. During this short webinar, I will discuss how collaboration and early engagement are key to driving success for cleaner construction, how low carbon concrete is already available, viable and proven, and discuss how Tarmac can help you to specify concrete to save carbon now. Concrete has supported the evolution of man for thousands of years. Its durability is evident across the globe. Concrete is the most versatile and used man-made material. From the Pantheon to the V&A in Dundee, it is the recognised material of choice for many applications and is vital for meeting UK's 2050 net zero target. Concrete is an essential material for our economy and our way of life. New homes, schools, hospitals, workplaces, roads and railways, as well as the infrastructure that provides us with clean water, sanitation and energy, all need concrete. This is due to concrete's many benefits. It is used extensively due to its relative ease of use, flexibility, low cost and is also readily available and local with around 95% of all concrete products sourced in the UK. This means that concrete is an accessible material that practically anybody can use for projects. Concrete designs go beyond architectural aesthetics. By making use of concrete's high performance characteristics, assets remain fit for purpose for generations. Attributes include its safety features, its durability, low maintenance, energy efficiency through thermal mass, and its resilience to fire. Concrete does not burn or rot its resilience to flood and pests and the impacts of climate change. While aesthetics will always be subjective, these benefits are independently verifiable. Concrete is evolving. Concrete is and has always evolved, providing an almost unlimited palette of colour, texture and form. There are more than 500 different types of concrete, from fast setting and high strength to self-levelling and water permeable mixes. Lightweight, Ultra thin and high compressive strength concretes are just some of the exciting innovations delivering designs with cultural, social, and economic significance. Despite all the well recognised benefits of concrete, Tarmac in the construction sector is always pushing to continuously improve the performance and environmental credentials of our products and services. When designing new buildings and infrastructure, it is important to consider safety, technical, economic, and sustainability criteria. These aspects are under ever increasing scrutiny. One area of particular focus is that cement has a carbon footprint and is an ingredient within most concretes. The good news is that the cement industry has been aware and tackling this issue and has reduced its emissions by 53% since 1990. Per capita consumption of cement in the UK is much lower than other countries. And due to the early actions taken by the cement and concrete industry in the UK, Today, cement accounts for only 1.5% of the UK's total emissions. Concrete is decarbonising faster than the UK economy. However, we are committed to supporting the government to achieve the UK's 2050 target. The cement and concrete industry launched a roadmap in October 2020 to not only achieve but go beyond net zero by 2050. What we mean by going beyond net zero is that the UK concrete and cement sector will remove more carbon from the atmosphere than we emit each year. The industry has a strong track record. The roadmap is a credible and viable pathway. It does not rely on offsetting or offshoring emissions. We have a clear plan to reach net zero. But what can be done to save carbon right now? Tarmac is taking widespread actions across our manufacturing business and transport. But tackling the complex issues on carbon and climate change requires a collaborative approach across the whole construction value chain. Early supplier engagement is key to ensure designs are optimised. Key areas that require collaboration are design and the circular economy. Using circular economy principles where we move away from the traditional linear make, use and dispose model and in which we keep resources in use for as long as possible, extract the maximum value from them whilst in use, then recover and regenerate products and materials at the end of each service life means that many benefits can be achieved when using concrete. Improving circularity also improves carbon reduction. 
As a material, concrete has several qualities that complement the principles of a circular economy, provided they are actively used in the design and operation of buildings and infrastructure. Early collaboration is key. This needs to be designed in and upfront. This has an impact on the whole circularity of an asset, resource use and carbon. Concrete buildings enable adaptation and reuse. It can contain recycled content and are 100% recyclable. Additional benefits include its longevity and ability to help meet multiple design needs, namely structural, aesthetic, acoustic, fire and thermal, without reliance on additional materials and treatments. A further characteristic of many existing concrete buildings is the long term serviceability of the frame and foundations, which often make reuse and repurpose a really viable option. As an example, the concrete frame, floors and columns can play an active part in a building's efficiency. When designed effectively, a concrete frame building can be reused several times to reinvent and reuse the building in many guises, from salting office to school and office box to apartments, using the thermal mass once again and saving demolition energy. Another key element for collaboration is designing low carbon whole life performance. Low carbon concrete is available now for all technical and specification requirements. Tarmac is passionate about ensuring the lowest carbon option is specified for each application. Detailed guidance on specifying sustainable concrete is available from the Concrete Centre and Tarmac Solution Guides on our website. Innovation in concrete mix design to use lower emission constituents need to be adopted and specified by designers and engineers and used increasingly in the built environment. However, you cannot just look at materials in isolation. It is important to note that buildings and structures should be assessed throughout whole life performance within the systems they are used rather than product elements individually to ensure you realise the full whole life benefits. To help our customers understand our solutions and their attributes throughout the whole life cycle of their use, Tarmac classified them within four categories, which we call the four INS. The first category is inbuilt. Tarmac is continuously improving the sustainable performance of both our business and our products. These include ensuring our raw materials are responsibly sourced, protecting the environment and enhancing biodiversity through excellent site stewardship, reducing carbon, water and waste, increasing recycled contents and improving transport efficiencies. All this is inbuilt into the concretes and other Tarmac products that are available. The next category is in construction. This is the way in which our products perform during construction. Our solutions can make a significant contribution to improving the sustainability of the construction process, for example, by making it safer, quicker, requiring less material, generating less waste or requiring less equipment. For example, if you consider the strength gain and concrete curing times, this can actually allow for more cement to be removed or replaced in the mix and reduce its carbon footprint. So it's really useful to work with contractors to enable a concrete based on a 56 or even 72 day strength rather than the typical 28 days. The next category to consider is in use. This is about how concrete performs once it's been installed. Two examples of this are designing for thermal mass and the recarbonation benefits of using concrete. Thermal mass is a property of heavyweight materials like concrete where heat can be absorbed stored and released, reducing the energy needed to heat and cool buildings. Buildings can be made better with concrete, ranging from high-end offices using its thermal efficiency to keep it cool in summer, to sound dampened apartments that improve quality of life. Deployment of concrete's thermal mass benefits help to provide a building stock which actually can avoid heating and cooling emissions. By designing to incorporate these benefits, could actually mean huge savings in carbon could be realised. Concrete also naturally absorbs carbon through its lifetime, effectively acting as a carbon sink. At least 23% of the process emissions from manufacturing cement are reabsorbed and permanently stored in the concrete. This is what's called recarbonation. This concrete benefit isn't widely recognised, but contributes significantly to lowering carbon emissions and demonstrates the importance of a whole life cycle approach when considering carbon performance of buildings and infrastructure. 
As I've said, using the techniques to optimise and accelerate carbonation could be used to increase its contribution to even more than 23% and perhaps as much as 100% of process emissions. Our last category is in support. We offer a range of tools, services and support that help to design and build more sustainably. Tarmac can provide embodied carbon footprints for concrete for any product from any of our sites. However, when assessing materials for a project, it's vital to look at all stages of its life, from construction to in use and end of life. This way, the benefits of thermal mass, recarbonation, circular economy can be realised during and at the end of its life. Tarmac also has environmental product declarations covering modules A to D to ensure a transparent and whole life cycle approach to our materials. The majority of inquiries we receive asking for carbon footprints are requested after the concrete has been placed. Optimisation of the materials, transport methods, specification and buildability advantages are all lost at that point in time, so early engagement really is key. New innovations are coming from Tarmac. We have research and development in clinker content, alternative binders and cement formulations to help reduce carbon emissions. Today, we can reduce the carbon footprint of concrete by collaborating and sharing an understanding of the properties. There is a wide range of cement and cementitious materials available in the UK, available as either factory made composite cements or equivalent combinations of Portland cement, SEM1. And additional materials added at the concrete mixer also help. For some applications, there is no choice but to use a high SEM1 content, but by complying with the existing BSEN standards, we can design concretes to reduce carbon by replacing part of that SEM1 with a lower carbon cementitious material. The key to this is the balance of reducing carbon versus concrete performance specifications. At Tarmac, most of our concrete sold today contain cementitious materials that reduce carbon, and we already include a percentage of GGBS, typically in the range of 20 to 50 percent, mix dependent as standard. However, this can be varied with the potential to save at least 70 percent of its carbon footprint. In 2021, Tarmac will be launching an additional lower carbon concrete to its range. This concrete is based around the alkali activated cementitious material category. It meets current standards BSEN 206 and EM 197. It covers all current concrete mixes 50 newton or lower with higher strengths coming soon. It also performs identically to standard concrete. On top of this, the heat of hydration is considerably lower, making it ideal for large pores. The strength gain is also adaptable and can be quicker than standard concrete. This lower carbon concrete will also offer up to 80% reduction in carbon emissions versus a SEM1 concrete. To summarise, collaboration and early engagement really is key to delivering low carbon outcomes and low carbon concrete. Tarmac support their customers to help them meet the challenge of creating a more sustainable built environment. We encourage early supplier engagement so that we can help our customers and clients develop and select the best products, services and solutions for their project. By choosing the right design, materials and thinking about whole life, this will ensure the right concrete for the right application, which contributes to a better, more sustainable built environment. If you engage with Tarmac early, we can help you to save carbon now and in the future. Thank you.